the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks as promised in my last video, I will be reviewing these 2021 Batman Babesters. I just did a review on the Superman pair last week, so if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you check it out after this video. But anyway, let's get right into it. Here they are. What y'all think? This new toe box is going to take some getting used to. I haven't copped a pair of Bapesters in years, so I don't know exactly how long they've been making the toe box like this, but I'm so used to the old toe box they used to put on these that looked exactly like the toe box that Air Force Ones had. It's not a big difference, and I'm not complaining, but it is going to take some getting used to, for me at least. Yeah, yeah laces. That's the tongue. This is Bapester. I know what it says. I don't need to do all that. And here they are from the front. Here's the side. They have that bigger shooting star. And the all black soul. Which I think would have looked better with at least some sort of yellow or yellow and gray on it. I mean, all black isn't bad, but it just makes the sole look extra thick. And, you know, they could have added something on the bottom. I know that makes them look a lot like the 07 pair. So, I know the 07 pair, they have the yellow on the bottom. They could have added the gray on the bottom, maybe some yellow around here. Or even if they wanted to leave the, you know, sole, sole, all black, they could have made, you know, this part gray and this part yellow or this part yellow and this part gray or just something but you know they still fire but like i said that that sole just looks a little bit too thick and they could have did more with it and here is the other side okay here we are in the back Great views, by the way. Love the Batman logo. But what I don't understand is why they made the yellow on the shooting star. I know it's kind of tough to see with the lighting, but y'all should be able to see from here for sure. Why is the yellow on the shooting star a different shade of yellow than it is on the Batman logo? And I almost want to say the Bapester right here is a different yellow as well. Now, there's at least two, but I want to say there's three different shades of yellow right here. And my question is why? You know, like, what was the point of making three different yellows? I mean, I guess it is convenient for some reasons, because I know sometimes I might buy some clothes to match something, and if I don't have the shoe with me in hand, sometimes I might think it'll match, and I'll take that article of clothing home and put it next to the shoe, and it won't be the exact same shade. And, you know, sometimes you can pull it off, sometimes you can't. So the only bright side I could see on this, and I doubt they were thinking this, but maybe they were, is maybe no nah, they, they they didn't care about our outfits in that much that much so i don't even know why i was thinking that but for real why what is the point of having three different shades of yellow i mean if this is the color on the batman logo why not make this part that batman yellow and this part that batman yellow doesn't really make sense to me but like i said i guess the bright side of it is if you go and get a yellow shirt and it doesn't match this yellow it might match this yellow or it might match this yellow so <laughs> If you cop these and you want to get a matching shirt, you kind of got three chances to match the yellow. So <laughs> I guess that's the bright side of it, but it just it doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, here's the back side of the tongue. I don't know if you have to read everything on there. Yeah. Um, I'm tired this real quick. So the end of the laces. Yeah, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It says Batman TM X Bape. Inside is black. Insoles are white with the ape head and the DC logo. Over here on the left shoe, they have this little tag with uh, some care instructions inside. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. 
Hear the songs. Box on them is fire. Got the black camo all around. Got a Batman's logo on each side of the box. It's over here too. It's just covered by the sticker. Here's the inside. They come with an extra pair of black and yellow laces as well as an extra pair of black and white laces. Nothing else in here just a whole bunch of tissue paper and, uh, and a little divider but none of that really matters. At least in my opinion it doesn't. <laughs> yeah these are tough. I always wanted the 07 Batman Bapesters. I mean I still do <laughs> um, but I never got around to copping a pair. So these are a great second place prize, so to say. But the type of person I am, now that I have these, is going to encourage me to go on the hunt for the 07 pair. <laughs> Especially with that crazy box that they come in. You know, I need, I, the Superman one needs some company. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the fact that I have these now, I'm going to be seeing the box in my room. It's going to remind me that I don't have the 07 pair. And it's going to cause me to look for them. And one day I might find them. And one day I might get them. Now I did hear that they're making a Batman movie that's supposed to be coming out next year. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, I'm sure the value on these, the 07 Bapesters, the 07 Roses, and the Batman SB is all going to shoot up in value. So I guess if I am going to get that 07 pair, maybe I should look for it sooner rather than later. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please tap that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more sneaker-related content. Everybody, please stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you next time.